I now realize I never needed your hand to guide me as though I didn't know my own mind. I spent a lifetime trapped in a world created by you. The exit always hidden through misdirection and a series of parlor tricks cleverly disguised as love to keep me contained. I foolishly believed you were the one and all I needed to do was walk your path and an abundance of nourishment would keep me sustained. I know now that was a lie, an illusion. You are a master of your craft. The flowers always bloomed in accordance to the season. The sun knew its place, as did the stars and the moon, and in turn, I knew my place too. I smiled. I obeyed. I bit my tongue. Whilst others marveled at your sleight of hand, I had your well-rehearsed act memorized. What you didn't notice as the crowds were up on their feet applauding you, I would stay sad in my seat, a hidden thorn amongst your bed of roses, a succulent slowly draining your admirers, knowing one day that they would turn on you when you could no longer provide and grow to despise you as much as I did and still do now. After learning all of your tricks, it would have been easy for me to disappear. But I chose to stay. I found the courage within myself to set the white rabbit free. So you could no longer hold that level of control over anyone or anything. In your final performance, as I stood clapping, a beacon of light, a voice amongst the silence, your sea of worshipers finally saw you for what you really were. Fake magic, a magician without a rabbit. The real magic, the one you didn't see coming, was me. I learned you must make friends with your demons. They teach you the things you need to know about yourself in order to grow as a person. Without even realizing it, you taught me everything I needed to know. And with that knowledge, by my hand, in the end, it was me who made you disappear.